Hello viewers, in this session, we are going to learn about how to read JSON using Apache Spark with Java. And this is the file which we are going to read with the help of Apache Spark. And you could see the, the fields first name, gender, mobile, and some array of objects. Fine, let's create a simple Java class. Read JSON object. I'm going to create a main with it. I'm going to create the spark session. We'll do spark session dot data data name. It is dot master as a local vector create. So that's all. We're just going to load this file into spark session using spark dot read dot JSON and let us assign it to data set. Import the class with the file path. It's an object dot class dot get resource in that file in this sample two dot JSON. Get font. So that's all. And now we need to show the file type. Right? So it's having some complex types. It contains some array objects. So we have to define as a multi line. Multi line as a true. We have to enable it. That's all. Let's run this program. Let's see, we could able to see some spark log. You can see here so the address is country England, London. The first name is Jack, and then we gender and the mobile number. Fine. So we just assign, we have to read the file and we assign it as a spark group. And sometimes we may request how to. Uh, requirement to assign the object into some model class which means so we have to create some model class in the name of in the similar to this json okay so let's see how to create this going to maintain some package called model and going to create a class called root And I'm going to create the corresponding fields. The mock value is long. And we could see there is an array of object, right? So we have to create another class called, we can name it as a child class. We can name it as a child. That's good. And what are those? Country and London. Country and city. <laughs> That's all. Let's get a some get a set of methods. And we have to create here child address of array. Let's get 
for all the fields we have created now what we have to do we have to mention encoder encoder on root can you as a obj encoders dot b now we have to define that class name the root child of the root class i mean the main class root dot class and later we have to create that we have to load the file Proxition dot tree dot json file path dot as we have to define the object here yes data set of here we have to define the root data set obj okay and so it's we don't it's a multi-line right so we have to define this as a multi-line and we have to make this a true let's let's run the application and let's see looks is completed let's see the result how it works yes we got it so that's just a similar thing and also if we need we can see the schema type we will make it as a false so that we can see the complete data because you know here we are able to see that only one of it but in array we have more than one let's try looks it's completed let's see that result yes we can able to see so we have two different objects in address one is in London, England, and Chennai, India, and then we can able to see the first name Chandra Mobile. Okay, that's all. And we have we have printed another thing is called a schema. Let's see. The root which is having that first name gender mobile, and the another having the subchild is called address, which is an array and the elements are country and city so that array address is an array so it's a defined that field type as an array and then elements country and city both are string and the first name gender are the string and the mobile number is long fine perfectly works okay so if you have doubts or clarification please share in the comment section thanks for watching